Hey guys, what's going on? We're here at Yongkang Street in Taipei. And this street is really famous for local eats. And my friend here took me to this place right behind us for this little gym. This is what's referred to as a Chongzhua Bing. And they told me this place, if you guys can see here, uh, when it's uh, at night, people get off work, so I'm lying around the block. So we're here in the morning and we're able to get one of these things really quick. And these are kind of like little scallion pancakes, even the ways they're made, they're kind of made similar to the way they make scallion pancakes. But the difference is these are a little thicker and they're more layered. And you do this thing like this guy's doing right here. And what happens is that you're able to make this super, super flaky. And then they added some cheese and eggs to this and some kind of sauce. So I can't wait to give this a try. I'm gonna share this with my friends here. Whoa. You see that? See how that's falling apart? There you go. See how flaky that is right now? See all those layers? That's another big difference between, this will never happen with a sky and pancake. Really good. Wow, look at this. Look how flaky this is. This looks so awesome. I'm just gonna take a bite. This is awesome. Wow. <laughs> this is really good. I thought you don't like it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is great. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is a winner. I feel like it's way lighter than a regular scallion pancake because it's much more flaky. Yeah. It's more layers. It's like a it's like a scallion croissant. The melty cheese in this is amazing. And whatever sauce they have, I feel like the sauce is a combination of oyster sauce, or maybe maybe just oyster sauce. I was skeptical about the eggs. I don't know. I was like, I don't know about that, but this is really, really good. You know what? I'm gonna learn how to make this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna try to put the location of this place for you guys in my description box as best as I can because I'm not really exactly sure what the address is here. If you ever come to Taipei, definitely check this place out, but try to come at a time where, you know, it's not lying around the block because that's probably not fun. And if you do wait in line, you gotta get like 10 of these to make it kind of worth it. Well, thank you so much guys for showing me that little place. I love it. All right guys, see you later.